सो हेयर इज द नेक्स्ट सेट फोर आर्चर्स फरहान रवि रमेश एंड सुरेश शॉट एरोज अक्रॉस थ्री राउंड राउंड वन टू थ्री The archers were then scored out of twenty points according to their distance away from the center. All points are integral. The table given below shows a partially filled table with the points scored by the archers in the three rounds. So Farhan scored seventeen in round one, Ravi scored ten in round two, and then Ramesh scored fourteen in round three. All other figures are missing. Some of the total scores are also given. After that, what is the more information? For one of the three rounds, the four archers had their scores in arithmetic progression. In only one round, the missing scores from the archers were in single digits. All of them were even. All the twelve scores were unique, and some more information is there. So I have put up all of this information on one single page, and let's start filling it up. First of all, the total score is one sixty. This is thirty five. This is forty eight. This is thirty seven. Thirty five plus forty eight that is equal to eighty three. Eighty three plus thirty seven is one twenty. So the remaining forty score. came by farhan 40 is the score of farhan for one of the three rounds the four archers had their scores in ap series so currently we do not know which one can be in ap series so currently i can't comment on that but i can surely say that round 2 scores are not in ap why am i saying so because one of the scores is 10 right no but that's a possibility currently okay probably i have done this set before so i went into that aura okay let's come back in only one round the missing scores from the archers were in single digits all of them even there were a total of three single digit scores currently i can't use that as well all the 12 scores are unique that's okay of the given values of the rounds two were the minimum for those particular rounds while one was the maximum for that particular round so of the all given rounds he says two values that means 17 10 and 14 out of these three values two of the values are the minimum for that particular round and one was the maximum for that particular round can i surely say that 10 must be minimum can i surely say that 10 must be minimum reason because if 10 is maximum how can four numbers add up to 54 i hope you are getting my point if 10 is the maximum among the four numbers how can the total be equal to 54 this is impossible so 10 must be the minimum score what about 14 and 17 currently we can't say about 14 and 17 which one is minimum which one is maximum but one thing is for sure when he said that one of all the scores in one of the rounds are in ap series that round cannot be round 2 that round cannot be round 2 because now i can shortly say if the minimum term is 10 in whatever order you take the next four terms their sum cannot be equal to 54 because in ap series they can be 10 11 12 13 they don't add up to 54 they can be 10 12 13 14 they can sorry 10 12 14 and 16 they cannot be 54 they can be 10 13 16 and 19 they cannot be 54 so in any of the cases you are not getting this sum as 54 so none of them is a possibility so that ap series cannot be in round 2 the ap series cannot be in round 2 i'm sure you got my point he also says that in only one round the missing scores from the archers were in single digits all of them even there were a total of 3 single digit scores so at some of the places i also i mean in one of the rounds i have to write three single digit numbers as well now let's come uh, to the next point the next point is i see here that this is 10 so can i say the sum of these remaining two numbers will be equal to 25 if round 2 has a sum of 10 the sum of these two remaining numbers should be 25 similarly For Farhan, this is seventeen. So sum of these two remaining numbers should be equal to twenty-three. Sum of these two should be twenty-three. And similarly for Ramesh, the total is forty-eight. So sum of these two should be thirty-four. Where from should I start now? Let's start from any one. It does not make a difference. So I am starting with Farhan. Let's say score of Farhan is seventeen here. So in the other two rounds, he has scored a total of twenty-three. can i surely say this score is more than 
because in round 2 10 is minimum so this score is more than 10 even if it is 11 so this score would become 12 if it is 12 this score would become 11 if it is 13 this score would become 10 that means this score is surely going to be less than 14 this score is surely going to be less than 14 and if this score is surely going to be less than 14 we have found something very useful now what is that of the given values two were the minimum for that round one was maximum so this must be the maximum of this round then of course 14 cannot be minimum because one of the values is surely going to be less than 14 so 14 is the maximum which means 17 is minimum score right and if 17 is minimum score these scores are 18 19 and 20 only because all scores are out of 20 when all scores are out of 20 how can you score more than 20 and all scores are different so apart from 17 what are the other three scores you can have 18 19 20 so this is the round where all these scores are in ap series this is not useful now we have found that which is this round having all in ap series i hope you all have understood this point so these are going to be 17 18 19 and 20 this 10 is going to be minimum this 14 is going to be maximum and now we have to figure out some of the other values as well and now i will talk about ravi let's talk about ravi now when i talk about ravi his score in round 2 is 10 that means the other two rounds the other two rounds have a score of 25 score of ravi in the other two rounds is 25 what about this in only one round the missing scores from the archers were in single digits all of them even and there were three single digit score now can i say that round must be round three the three missing scores must be out of two four six eight because they must be even they must be single digits in round three one of the scores that is of ramesh is 14 out of the other three scores we must be having single digits what can i write here i already have a 10 here sum of these two numbers is equal to 25 can i write a 2 here in that case this will become 21 21 plus 2 is 25 no i cannot write a 2 here so let's move that it is not possible can i write a 4 here it is 10 plus 4 14 14 plus something is 35 so 10 plus 4 14 14 plus i am sorry in the previous case i think it was 21 3 not 21 now it is 21 so even this is not possible can i write a 6 here let's write 10 plus 6 16 plus 19 35 yes that's a possibility and can i write 8 here if i write 8 10 plus 8 18 18 plus 17 would be 35 i cannot write 17 again all 12 scores are distinct so by that logic i can surely say this number is now fixed as 6 10 plus 6 16 16 plus 19 is 35 16 plus 19 is 35 what about this score now it can be 18 it can be 20 one score is already 14 48 minus 14 is 34 if i that write as 20 over here this has to become 14 then but i cannot write 14 twice and by that logic i can say this score has to be 18 that means this score would become 16 that means this score is equal to 20 now if it is 20 some of these two score is 17 how can i write 17 i have to write a single digit even number here i cannot write 6 just think of this how can i make 17 now can i write 8 no 8 plus 9 would be 17 i have only three single digit scores so i cannot write 9 here can i write 4 4 plus 13 is 17 yes that's possible can i write 2 2 plus 15 is 17 yes that's also possible so both of them are possible let's try with 4 if it is 4 4 plus 13 is equal to 17 10 plus 16 26 plus 13 is 39 39 plus 15 is 54 17 plus 15 is 32 32 plus 8 oh yes it has satisfied all the conditions but we did not check 2 so if you try 2 i am sure there would be some mistake let's try if it is 2 this would become 15 now 10 plus 16 is 26 26 plus 15 is 41 so this score would become 13 then this is 13 so 17 plus 13 is 30 in that case this score must be 10 i cannot write 10 again moreover i am not getting three single digit numbers 
so that is gone so this is the final combination with us 17 15 8 19 10 6 18 16 14 and 20 13 4 of course now i can find out their sums as well this would be equal to 74 this would be equal to 32 and that way i can find the other values as well i'm sure it is clear so now we have kept all these values already in a table and we shall start solving the question for question number 9 and 10 there is some additional information we will be using it at that time only let's talk about first question what was the sum of the possible two digit scores which were not part of any of the scores of the four arcs okay let's have a look at the table the two digit scores are 10 it is already there 11 is not there 12 is not there 13 is already there 14 is already there 15 is already there, 16 is already there and 17 to 20 are all there. So ultimately these are the only two square scores which are not there for any of them. My answer is 11 plus 12, 23. Which of the following even single digit numbers was not part of any of the scores of four archers? So I see among the single digit numbers 8, 6 and 4 are all there but 2 is not there. So my answer is option A that is 2. Which of the following statements is or are true? Let's talk about it. This, uh, this is the table. If the highest two scores of all the uh, archers were summed up, Farhan would have the second lowest sum. Let's see. The highest two scores of Farhan are 17 and 15, that is 32. Highest two scores of Ravi are 19 plus 10, 29. For Ramesh, they are 18 plus 16, that is 34. For Suresh, they are 20 and 13, that is 33. So he says Farhan would be having second lowest. This is lowest. This is second lowest. That's correct. So statement number one is right. Statement two. All players had their highest, middle and lowest in round one, two, three respectively. Highest, middle, lowest. Correct. Highest, middle, lowest. Correct. Highest, middle, lowest. Correct. Highest, middle, lowest. Correct. Yes, it is true for all of them. Second is also true. So both the statements A and B are true. My answer is option C. Then comes an additional information for questions nine and ten. The archers played a fourth round and the result of all the four rounds when totaled changed the rankings of four archers from third round in exactly reverse order. That is, the archer at the bottom rank at the end of round three went to the top at the end of round four. So basically, currently the rankings are one, two, three, four. The question says they reversed. That means 4 became 1, 3 became 2, became 2, 2 became 3 and 1 became 4. This has happened. And he says the archers, uh, sorry, none of the archers hit their personal best shot in round 4 or the same points as they themselves got in any other round or 0 points. So they did not score the same score as they have got in any other round. They did not uh, uh, go past their maximum score. And they did not score 0. None of the archers had the same total points. So same total points were also not there. Now there is an important point here. When I talk about Ravi. Ravi has scored 19 here. And he cannot score his maximum. Uh, sorry. Uh, this uh, His personal best. So he can score a maximum of 18 in that round 4 now. Similarly when I talk about Ramesh. He can score a maximum of 17 in this round. If I talk about Suresh, he can score a maximum of 19. And if I score, talk about Farhan, he can score a maximum of 16. Now, when I talk about this guy Ramesh, who was first previously, now he's going to be fourth. His score is already 48. Ravi is at 35. Ravi has to go from 35 to a point where he is above the score of Ramesh, who is 48. If Ramesh scores even one point in the next round, just look at this. If Ramesh scores even one point in the next round, his total will become 49, right? Then score of Suresh must be minimum 50. Then score of Ravi, sorry, Farhan should be minimum 51. I think I've reversed. Score of Farhan should be minimum 50. Score of this guy should be minimum 51. And score of Ravi should be minimum 52 for which he will have to score 17, right? At least 17. So that means if he scores 1 here, 17 he scores. His score should be minimum 50, that is 10. 
score should be minimum 51 that is 14 so this is one of the possibilities if ramesh scores one i am just saying it is one of the possibilities of course there are other possibilities as well but there will be a single possibility if ramesh scores two because in that case the score of ramesh would become 50 now this guy cannot score more than 18 if he scores 18 his score would become 53 now the only possibility for this person is to score 51 and for this person to score 52 that's the only way out he will have to score 15 and he will have to score 11 in that case that's the only chance with one you can score 18 here as well right that's a possibility with one he might score 15 over here that's a possibility but with two this is the only possibility that is 11 18 2 and 15 i have written these scores in this table so let's see the questions now what is the minimum possible total score from the four rounds by the four archers so what is the minimum possible total score currently their total score is 160 minimum he can score 10 he can score 17 he can score 1 and he can score 14 10 plus 17 is 27 plus 1 28 plus 14 is 42 if they score 42 more their total score will become 202 and that's the right answer 202 and lastly, what is the maximum possible score from the four rounds by Suresh? Maximum possible score of Suresh. If scores, if Suresh scores 15, his score will become 52. This is the maximum possible that Suresh can score. So the answer for question number 10 is 52.